Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be coloring this gorgeous little sketch with some Copic markers. So let's get started. So again, I'm using Copics for this. Um, I ended up being late on Mermaid with some of my pieces. So I thought it'd be a little easier to just grab something I'm used to like Copics and get them done. So before I go any further into this video, mermaid pre-orders and tomorrow june 20th so please if you are interested in a mermaid art book get them in link is in the description below to where you can pre-order and if you pre-order you get your choice of a free original so after june 20th th they'll still be available but you won't be able to get a free original so link is in the description and this little lovely lady will be in it as well so today we are coloring a squid mermaid this is a spiritual successor to my old squid mermaid if i can find a picture um i'll pop it up on screen if not i'll just pop the video up on the top right of the screen so you guys can go watch it um she i love the original design and i really wanted to make something kind of similar but not exactly the same and so uh, we, i came up with this one so um instead of her being an actual squid i mean she is but like her arms have sleeves that are her really long tentacles and she her dress kind of points up at the top kind of like the top of a squid head um, and I kept the color scheme really simple I just it was kind of like minty greens and pinks and a little bit of orange and of course like a light flesh tone um, and I really liked the color scheme I thought it worked really well with this and I had a lot of fun with it. So um, I found a blending style that I actually kind of really like with Copics. It uses like 90% of my Copic every time, but I really like it. And I've been really loving the way some of my pieces have been turning out. Um, again, I, I'm sorry, this video is actually really uploaded pretty late. And that's because I just didn't have time to edit a video. And I kind of grabbed one that I had in stock, which was this one. I'm trying not to flood you guys with mermaid pieces, but... I just really didn't have time to do anything else but my Q&A video will be Wednesday so please if you haven't given me a question yet on the previous video that I asked for them definitely leave them in the comments of this video and I can get to them um, all of you are asking some really awesome questions and some of them are really hard so I can't wait to answer them and it'll just be a chill video it'll probably be really long so just kind of be prepared for that I'm excited it's the first really long video I think I've done on this channel and I'm excited to do more of them so we can just kind of like chill and chat and all that stuff so yeah um so I'm really I want to make a topic with this video and I don't really know what to talk about so I'll just talk about the piece itself so I'm blocking in color I am using my Claire Fontaine uh, paint on paper this is a mixed media paper and if you want to know everything that I used in this video they will all be down in the description below and if you want to purchase anything uh, there are Amazon links it doesn't affect you at all what I mean by that is it doesn't add any money to you but it does help support this channel so if you ever want to buy anything that you see me using consider using those amazon links because it it really does support me you have no idea so anyway um i am just blocking in the color from light to dark which i normally don't do if you're around here from any time at all uh but i went from light to dark this time and then i'm shading with the you know successive colors and I really thought it turned out really well I was pretty happy with it I tried making it blendy and less cell shaded um, and I was really happy with it and there's another piece that I can't wait to share with you guys but it's probably I wouldn't say my top favorite because my top favorite is a different mermaid but it's pretty darn close and uh, it was really blended and I thought I did a good job but of course in about a year or so I'll be like ooh what is this but Today, I'm really happy with it, and I feel like my art's coming a long way, so that's something I could talk to you guys about. Don't be scared to try new things. Don't be scared to try new things. Um, in all honesty, I've been kind of scared to get out of my comfort zone of like cell shading and do blended shading because I feel like... Um, I'm doing it wrong and somebody's going to be like, oh my god, you're doing this wrong, but I need to learn that what other people say it matters but all in all if I'm happy with my art that that is all that matters now again in a year or so I probably won't be happy with some of these pieces but that's a good thing because that means 
that as an artist I'm growing and I'm learning and if I draw at least, I don't draw every single day, but I do my best to draw as many days as possible. Just sometimes it isn't possible, I'm busy, you know, I've got other obligations and so, you know, stuff happens, but I try to draw as often as possible and it really does help when you kind of look back from something from a year ago and you cringe and you may think that's a bad thing because you kind of sort of hate what you drew, but that's kind of a good thing because if you really loved the thing, like whatever art piece that you did back then and you don't like it now, that means that you have improved. Even if it's just a little tiny bit, that means that you have improved. So go look at some of your art if you're feeling down about your art and just pick out things that you feel like you have improved on since the really old picture. Like for instance, I think my anatomy is a lot better than the one, the other squid girl, and I think her hands are a lot better. Um, let's see, what else do I like about this? I didn't do any line art, and I actually really like the fact that I didn't do any line art. And I feel like it's more fluid. The other one felt a little stiff. No, don't get me wrong, I still love the other one, but this one feels a lot more flowy, a lot more freeing. and. I, I'm really happy with that so go get some of your old artwork if you're dissatisfied with your new stuff and pick out a few things that you really like about your current artwork that maybe didn't translate to your older artwork so that is my art tip of the day I should really just like name these or something <laughs> I don't know but I had a lot of trouble with this background that's kind of random but I could not get it to blend the way I wanted it to and it was user error because I was the one I ended up making this like dark spot right there I do end up fixing it but I believe I fixed it off camera um, oh and I'm using a really sparkly yummy gold pen and I love these things they're the spectrum sparkles oh they're amazing so anyway guys the video is wrapping up I want to thank you guys so much for watching leave your comments down below if you have a question for my Q&A video or if you just want to talk about this piece let me know how I did let me know don't be too harsh though because that'll make me sad. <laughs> so uh, anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go pre-order my mermaid art book to get your choice of a one-of-a-kind original piece. And you can subscribe here, that's free, on the Squid Pod by hitting that subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it to keep notified on when I upload new videos. And you can follow me on all of my social media. Links are in the description below. And until next time guys, to the